Well, he must do something that I didn't do. <laughs> Whatever he's doing, it looks good on you. You look so good in love. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get blessed by this young man. He is a box office bully. When you talk about Fast and the Furious, when you talk about Jumanji, Central Intelligence, and the list goes on, this dude right here is about to electrify us. Please welcome Dwayne Johnson in the building. Uh, D! Where's he at? D! Where's he at? D! <laughs> ah, come on, bro. <laughs> Man, you look fantastic, man. Thank you, man. Hey, Listen, man. I got to be honest with Good you. Good to see you. And I want to say thank you. But from watching you, at this point in your career, when most people would be like, hey, get those cameras away. I don't want to talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. Every single day, you're talking to the people. Why is that? It's the most important relationship I have. Wow. Is with the people. As I reached a point in my career, I was tired of trying to be something I wasn't. Wow. So I was told at that time, listen, you can't talk about wrestling, you can't go by The Rock, you can't be as big, you can't, yeah, it was a lot of things like that. So finally, I reached a point where I said, all right, two things have to happen. I'm gonna surround myself with a different group of people, different mm -hmm. management, mm -hmm. and um, and then I'm gonna make sure that uh, that I just gotta be me. Right, right, gotta right. gotta be me, and if you wanna call me Rocky, call me Rock. Right. right? I'm gonna get Because we gym. didn't know, because I was like, I should have called him. No, yes, like, of course. No more Rock. <laughs> no, it's always Rock. You're the box office bully, but yet and still, there's that playful side. Always. That, where, where does that come from? I love to make movies for the world to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our friends, they do a great job. A lot of times they like to discover themselves in scripts. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that shit. That's <laughs> you, for my, that's that's for my therapist. That's, 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 I won't take care of my personal shit. <laughs> right, 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 right. We've had enough times in the past where things weren't so good, right? right? Talk I, about that a little bit, when it yes. wasn't good. I was evicted when I was 14 years old, and then we were forced off the island of Hawaii to move of all places. We had to move to Nashville. And we lived in a little motel, and I was trying to remain as positive as I could. And now your company is called Seven Bucks. It's Why is that? Seven Bucks. So my goal was to play in the NFL, and that didn't happen for me. Uh, I went up to the Canadian Football League. I played yeah, up there. Yeah. I got cut from there, flew back down to Miami. Mm -hmm. My old man was living in Tampa. Mm -hmm. and I said, I called him at midnight when I landed. I said, you got to come get me. Mm -hmm. On the way back up to Tampa, I said, God damn, you know, let me see how much money I got. I pulled out my wallet, I opened it up, I took out a five, a one, and change. Oh. And that's why we have seven bucks, seven bucks production. Talk about the influences. Okay, I'm gonna hit you with them right yeah. now. Man. First time, by the way, I've never yeah. talked about yeah. these influences. Let me see, we'll start off with Harrison Ford. Wow. Right? Especially with Indiana Jones, what I loved about that character that he did, he was able to kick ass, right? Yeah. It's always fun to kick ass, but then they have like a little charm yeah. to it. He was in on yeah, it, yeah, he would yeah. get his ass kicked, yeah, and, yeah. You know, but, and he loved and celebrated women, and he right. saw a beautiful woman, yeah. he mm. was gonna go, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. hey, I, hey. <laughs> Welcome mean, to our I world. Mean, all this, yeah, <laughs> shit. I'm starting to put my jacket on. <laughs> Talk about what it means to be positive to everybody. Well, I heard this quote when I was 15 and back in the lean days. And the quote was, um, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Wow. Just like wow. it happened yesterday, I thought, if I'm ever important one day, mm. I'm going to be nice to people. If I'm wow. ever important, because I always wow. just wanted to apply that. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah, love yeah, hearing yeah. that. And honestly, oh, brother, it, being nice, I always say this to people, being nice and kind is literally the easiest thing we can do. Wow. It's the easiest, compared to being an asshole to oh, people. Man. And not only that, but then also, last thing is, you have an opportunity to make somebody's day. Yeah. And I remember when I met a few people when I came to Hollywood, I won't mention their names, there's no need to, but when I met them, I was so excited to meet them. I was uh -oh. like, oh, uh -oh. Right? you've had these stories uh -oh. too. I had a few. Uh -oh. I'm like, oh, hey, good to meet you. And then, then you know, I kind of got, got blown off. And Get I was the like, fuck oh, out of here. Yeah, <laughs> it was that yeah, kind of thing. You have to speak through somebody. Yes. Yeah, could you tell him? No, he's not having, <laughs> he's not speaking words. He's only breathing. He's not speaking words. He's only speaking. He's only breathing in today. He's not breathing out, so please. It's like, he get only the fuck in, out of here. Please. That shit's real, by the way. But you, you know what? I, I, I'm glad that you have the con. And I'm glad that, um, that you are now in the position to do what we've all been waiting for, 
uh, run for president of the United States. That's right. He is uh, running for president of the United States. Here. He is in that. We're announcing right here on here script. He's running for president. I am the ambassador of the after party. Yeah. And I, 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 I know this is crazy, mm -hmm. but you look like, oh, he could be president and then drop over in Afghanistan and kick ass at the same yeah. time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> to see The Rock like... You know, the, Rock, uh, the President uh, Johnson has just jumped out of his own Air Force One, and we thought the other guy was uh, uh, crazy, but this is... <laughs> I thought the other guy was crazy. And yeah. hey, you just in the helicopter, you just in the helicopter, not... we just... <laughs> <laughs> and you just fucking just... And, and I say it as a joke, uh, man, but... Would you ever do that, man? I would consider running, yes. The most important thing I could do is is considerate, and then then we got to go to school. Right. Then you right. got to learn, yeah. right? Because I mean, holding office, um, any level, local, state, uh, federal, right, and then and then president of the United States, I had treated that with such amount of respect. I know that you have to go, but uh, I need you to teach me how to say, "Can you smell what the fox oh, is, this is cooking?" Big. How committed do we want to go? I'm I'm all I'm all in. Here we go. <clears throat> if you smell la, 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 what the rock, then you gotta look. Eyebrow is cooking. Oh shit, yeah, okay. let's rock this Come shit. On. Come on. That shit made you wanna fight somebody, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Okay, here we go. You count it up. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. If you smell yeah. Come on. What the yeah. fox is cooking? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Skyscraper. Skyscraper. Let's, let's talk. <clears throat> let's get into Skyscraper, it. Skyscraper, man. Yeah. It's a special okay. one. So, yeah. Ross and Thurber, who's a writer director, he wanted to make this movie. He gave me a call and he goes, I had this idea. It's set in the tallest building in the world, it's on fire. You cannot come up the elevator. You can't go through the stairs. You have to use your brain, figure out a way to get in. Uh, and the fire is on the 90th floor, so you gotta get above the fire line and get in to save your family. So he pitched me the whole pitch, and I said, wow. I said, I love it, I love this idea. And then he goes, oh, by the way. I said, yeah, you're an amputee, you have one leg. But we are so superhero heavy yeah. in our business, it was nice to go back, go back. Right. to basic bones. Yeah. One man. One man, one, one building. leg. <laughs> one and, building. Yeah. I cannot wait to see that. Listen, we're here with Dwayne Johnson. His movie is Skyscraper. Can you set this uh, trailer? I, I can, up? I can. So here, here's a clip of me and some shit's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Off script, Jamie Foxx, Dwayne Johnson. Come on, Thank always you. a pleasure, okay, brother. Thank you. You ever miss it? After what happened that night, I just put my sword down, you know? I love you. You matter. Mr. Sawyer, after your security assessment, what do you think of the building? The Pearl is the most advanced, super tall structure in the world. But? No one really knows what would happen if things go wrong. Let it burn. Get back! You don't understand. My family's in there. Turn around! We gotta do this together. I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. In order to be brave, you gotta be a little scared. Oh, no. I need you to be brave right now, okay? Yeah.